Drei Gläser. Ze zijn moffen! Verklede moffen! Ik, we zeggen wel Hollanders! Allemaal! Schuur laten zeggen! Maar we kunnen geen schuur zeggen! Zeg eens Scheveningen! 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 Shibboleths. A shibboleth can be used as a form of password. They were used during World War II and throughout history as such. Generally speaking, shibboleths are customs specific to a group or class of people. This can include ways of phrasing sentences, pronouncing words, or even using hand gestures which are foreign to outsiders. This is one of the most ancient forms of identification, letting others know you belong to their group or not. Let me see. Is it Sturgeon? Hey, you're crazy. Sturgeon, he's a doctor, cuts you open when you're sick. Now I give you one more chance. I got it. Haddock. That's so funny. I got a haddock too. We use shibboleths every day. Some people might call pop soda or ketchup, catsup. Kids. I'm in way over my head. The word shibboleth is Hebrew in origin, with its original meaning being part of a plant containing grain. Its modern use derives from an account in the Hebrew Bible, with the word's pronunciation used to distinguish a specific tribe in ancient Israel. Shibboleths were used frequently in World War II, just as highlighted in the movie Soldier of Orange. Dutch resistance fighters would often use code words with sh in them, as native Germans pronounce sh more closely to how an English speaker, such as myself, would over a native Dutch speaker. Signs and countersigns used by allies also took into consideration words that were difficult to pronounce for non-native English speakers. During the Normandy invasion, the allies might identify themselves when out of sight of each other by shouting out flash. If another man shouted thunder, they'd be identified as friendly. I don't think that's the correct reply, Trooper. Thunder was chosen as a code word as the TH sound can be hard to pronounce for German speakers. TH usually is replaced with a D sound. Da might sometimes replace the, for example. Into the boat! Into the tunnel! Get to the chopper! Likewise, in the Pacific Theater, Allied troops might use code words with numerous L's in them. Lollapalooza was one such shibboleth used to challenge unidentified persons. Japanese infiltrators would sometimes approach American checkpoints, posing as Asian Americans or Filipino military personnel. Native Japanese speakers commonly pronounce an L, more similar to an R, which gives them away. <laughs> and don't let anyone in without the password. All right, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this brief video on shibboleths. Just as a side note, this video was not to single out any one nation's difficulty in pronouncing words. I personally regularly struggle to pronounce German or Japanese words on my channel and English words too. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Now, what is the password? Oh, no, you got to tell me. Hey, I tell what I do, I give you three guesses. It's the name of a fish. Is it Mary? Ha <laughs> ha! That's an old fish. She isn't. Well, she drinks like one.